Good afternoon, everybody. It's 12.15 on a Tuesday, the 25th of July, 2023. Today, we're gonna have a little wonder around uh, a secret town. We may have been here before, we may have not, but I'm gonna try and uh, not get any street signs, not get any building society names, nothing that will make you know where we are. And your mission is to guess what city we're in. Don't look up the bar names, just, just play along. Play along, you'll figure it out. Okay, let's scrap that game. We're in Derby, of course. Um, I realize how pointless it would be that I film a bar and uh, I know the human instinct. The human instinct is to find out and share information. What the hell is even that? Let's go and have a look. The Hairy Dog. Looks like a venue, venue for music. The games room, a little hot dog kiosk outside. And uh, here, built in 1893, is this good old abandonment. Fantastic abandonment. And what does it say on the front? First of all, could I sneak in round the back? Could I? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Protected by EMS, security services all boarded up. Oh, you can see through to the roof. Let me see if I get you guys to zoom in. There you go. Where's Pidjo? There he is. And uh, it's always a shame when trees, bushes start growing in the... <laughs> Look, it's that, it's that little cat torturer, the little Turk, Hasbullah. He, uh, he had such a promising career as a professional adult baby. And then he... Um, he uh, was a bit rough with his kitty cat on video and uh, it's all over for the little uh, diminutive little uh, orky boy. And directly across from uh, Hezbollah's uh, about, oh look at the slate tiles coming away. That's going to cost a pretty penny to repair. And BT Open Reach Relay Exchange Station. BT, Bata, British Telecom, they own a lot of these big big sites in city centers. And did you know that Derby's invested 1.4 billion pounds in regeneration over the last 10 years? I don't know if that's good or bad for a, a small to medium sized city like Derby, 140 million a year, is that right? But the way they write it, they say 1.4 billion over the last decade. And I'm like, okay, that's a lot of money, but without any reference or scale, I don't know if that's good or bad, what's that? Nice. Irish center. There you go. The quality abandonment of Newland Street. Here we go, everyone's favorite 1950s, 60s, 70s brutalist office tower. We all love it. Ugh, ugh. But yeah. It's a pretty big site, 43,000 square feet. I don't know if that's for the actual land or if that's the square footage of every floor added up. Something tells me that whoever buys this, <laughs> whoever buys this isn't going to want to keep that monstrosity. Mama Fu, Beckett Street, we look up. We're literally just off the city centre. There's the cathedral. And there uh, come over here. Hey, he's got good taste. You alright? Nah, I'm, someone's visiting family here in Derby, so I'm just passing the time, doing a video. Go gently, I've got a bad wrist, but hey. Thanks guys, you alright? So, uh... D-Day. Paratrooper pigeon. Attack helicopter. Paratrooper pigeon. Makes perfect sense. Large parts of this city are very noisy, a lot of roadworks. But let's do a little pan round to quite a smart looking apartment block with some very nice balconies. A bit noisy though. Oh, House of Halls, eh? Sure, I visited the Bordello in Istanbul in 1999 with that name. Okay, well, we passed the Babington Arms, a big Weatherspoons. Still a bit noisy, is it coming through on the microphone? Next to Army. Be the best. I've got a big rant in me about how in developed, in developed countries, first world countries, people generally have a lot less children, which is no good because you can't fight wars and then the government imports 
vast amounts of immigrants to make up for the native population decrease to make sure that the economy keeps going, pensions keep going, warfare keeps going. Not that that's a good thing, but there's a reason why the British and uh, other Europeans and the Americans are considered the very best armies on earth. And uh, unless we have, I'll, I'll shut up now. I think you kind of get the point generally of what I'm saying. But anyway, after dark comes the light. Have you seen how much light is in this light shop? Look at that. Got a bit of uh, interference with the frame rate and the hertz of the, the light bulbs. Because I uh, can, trust me, here in real life, they're not, they're not going boom, 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 boom like that. In the center of Derby, you have the uh, famous Wilco shopping trolley that's been here for 50 years. And then um, some scum have abandoned a, a concrete ram as well. Look. Derby magistratum. <laughs> Who needs focus? Focus is for losers. Oh no, I want focus. So I think we've got focus now. Focus, focus, look at the smile, good man. So I'm assuming I can film, as long as I'm not in the building, I can film around here. Yeah, because obviously they have laws in England, you can't film in a court, but outside is fine. Good man. Thank you very much, gentlemen, have a good one. Oh, oh, that's it. Zero terrorism, all fun and games. Thank you very much. Cheers. See ya. See ya. Thank you. Oh, hi. Oh, I'm, I'm just really curious in the buildings. Could you please tell me how many security work there, what time the shift handovers are, and what time would be the best time to come when it's really quiet in there? No, so I can't really give you that sort of information. Um, do, you, do you have maybe a blueprint for the floor? I could maybe have a look and study back at my house. No. No? How about a list of all the black spots where there's no cameras? No. Oh man, no problem. Anyway, name's Charlie Veach. Please subscribe on YouTube. I do a YouTube channel. All right, that's, that's fine. Thank you. I'm asking you comedy questions. I don't want to know any of those things. But, um... Yeah, because this is a private land, I'm afraid. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, but... Down there at the bottom, right? I know, but I'm a bad boy, and I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do it anyway, and... I, for I understand, as long as I'm not in the Crown no, Court. No, no, like, the vicinity of the premises anyway. So down there, yeah. you're more than welcome to do so. Yeah, but you're not going to attack me or stop me if I do it here. So well, we're okay. I can remove you. No, you cannot. On what ground? No, you I can can't remove. No, I can ask you politely. But you can't remove me. No, no, no. But obviously, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm just I'm okay. letting you know, I know. that. No but. problem. Thank you. But name's Charlie Beach. I'm no, I'm not a terrorist. I'm not a bad guy. I just want to get some shots of the. Because last time I came here, it was a Saturday. It was closed. So I just want to see. So, but thank you anyway. Thank you. Cheers, man. service there's no service now what is religion religion is man's attempt to make sense of the mystery and the unknowable nature of reality and you're like oh what do you mean unknowable we've got science we know about the big bang we know that the universe is 13.8 billion <coughs> correction we know that the universe is 26.7 <coughs> It's probably infinite, isn't it? But since the Big Bang, has it been 26 billion or 13 billion years when they can get it wrong by a factor of fucking 100%? So, we invent concepts such as the divine. We create a god. We invent God. And Nietzsche lamented the death of God at the start of the 20th century, thus predicting the concentration camps and the killing fields of World War I and World War II. But uh, we invented God because existing as meaningless and absurd mathematical equations on some substrate which is neither mind nor matter but is some infinite swirl is a bit scary. And that's why people give their love to Jesus. I'm a dirty sinner. I have dark thoughts in my mind, really dark thoughts. And Jesus is like, it's okay, my child. You are a wonderful child of God like I am. You are forgiven. You are beautiful. We, we need you. doesn't matter what you've done. Repent and love me and you'll be all right, chook. And that's what we do. And here on the pulpit, you've got the seal of Solomon. 
big daddy of the uh, Old Testament. Um, as above, so below. Male, female, night and day. Now oh, the people over 45 years old. Actually, no, I had a, I had a Spectrum. I had some tapes, I had some mining game. Loading it up, amazing. But anyway, we're here at the Darby, well, we're outside the Darby Computer Museum. And uh, what's very funny is, uh, please focus. <laughs> Look at that, a gold star, lucky gold star uh, screen. But what's very funny, museum, yeah, they've got an item which is from 2000, Sega Dreamcast. I had one of them. And uh, they even sold me, <laughs> because they were competing against the PS2. The shop that sold me the Dreamcast sold me a bundle with a free DVD player attached, because if you all remember, the biggest selling point of the PS2 when DVDs were massive is that it could play DVDs. It's a bit of good news. If you get busted in Derbyshire and you get put in the back of the Panda wagon, at least it's air-conditioned, lads.